The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we have a fantastic message on how to find your calling in life. Enjoy. Do you enjoy waking up early? Do you like listening to the twittering of birds as they call out to each other to wake up and start going? Do you even live in a place with twittering birds in the morning? How do you get out of bed in the morning? Do you jump out in excitement or, like the vast majority, snooze your alarm 12 times because, well, 13 is an unlucky number? When the balls of your feet touch the ground, is it accompanied by a drive to meet the day and all of its challenges or by the fear of missing a deadline, losing your job, or getting evicted? What I'm asking is, do you have a clear purpose in your life? What is the purpose of life? The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Mark Twain Why were you born? The answer to this is literally the purpose of your life. Purpose can be defined as the central motivating aims in your life, the things that keep you moving. Having a sense of purpose gives your life direction. This means that the decisions you make, the friends you associate with, and the people you look up to are all tied to the purpose you have for your life. A purpose doesn't have to be groundbreaking or unique to you. However, it should be life-changing, since your life is supposed to be centered on fulfilling what you were born to do. You could have been born with golden feet like Lionel Messi or Mohamed Salah, and are meant to plow through a horde of defenders to make that record-breaking goal. Or your purpose could be in your responsibilities to your family and friends. You could seek meaning through spirituality and be your local church's pastor or the Dalai Lama himself. It is very important that you identify the purpose you are meant to fulfill, because otherwise, you'll probably live a pretty boring life. And finding this purpose might be difficult. In fact, you might not know where to even begin. Look for obvious talents. Some feet are meant to run. Some voices are meant to sing. Other voices are meant to yodel. These are talents that are usually pretty visible from when someone is young. Do you have any obvious talents? Now, I'm not talking about being so incredible at something you can break records. Just the beginnings of a skill or passion are enough. Maybe you can draw caricatures or fold your body in a beautifully grotesque manner. Talents are one of the easiest ways to identify your purpose and create a path to follow in life. This is because they come naturally, and with practice you can further develop your skills. Furthermore, talents are often explored as interests, so chances are you'll love what you do unlike, well, pretty much half of the Earth's population. Remember, your talents don't have to be mainstream. They could be as weird as it gets. However, they should be fueled by interest and passion. Otherwise, you'll burn out and have to run right back to this video to find your purpose yet again. But if you don't have any obvious talents, or aren't interested in pursuing them as a career or a purpose, these next steps are for you. Explore your interests. What do you enjoy doing? What can you do for hours without noticing that time is passing by? Can you read for hours disappearing away? Are you the kind of person who loves washing dishes and can clean every single dish in your house without noticing how long you've been humming away at the sink? To be honest, I'm not really sure how washing dishes can be turned into a life-changing purpose, but you should still make a note of everything you love doing, even if it's just dishwashing. It's entirely possible that one of your interests can turn into your true purpose, simply by exploring them all and seeing what sticks. Let's say you have a passion for helping people. Narrow it down. What kind of people are you particularly interested in helping? Try as you might, you can't help every single person in the world. Maybe you like helping the elderly or children in orphanages or daycares. What career choices can you make in order to explore helping people as the path for your life? You could be a doctor or a nurse, or you could become ridiculously rich and spend your money donating to charities for the elderly or the youth. Read. The most important thing you have to do when discovering the purpose of your life is to read widely and endlessly. Even with the internet at our disposal, we're still often constrained by geography and oftentimes only look at what is right in front of us. Reading makes all the difference by connecting you across time zones, sometimes even realms, to a world that is beyond the visible eye. 
It exposes you to talents and ways of seeing things you couldn't have imagined otherwise, and introduces you to fantastic characters you could have never met in real life. Some of these characters and ideas might even change your life. So, as you attempt to discover the path you're supposed to take in life, read as you have never read before. Read everything from fiction to the Bible, from the works of John Nash to the theories of Karl Marx. Just do it. One of the things that holds us back in the pursuit of our purpose is planning that never comes to fruition. Here, two things are prominent. The fear that what we are exploring might not pan out, or the fact that whatever we're planning to do looks great on paper, but it probably won't look so great in real life. When finding your purpose in life, there is only one way to make it happen, by doing things that will lead you to your purpose. If you feel that dancing could be what you are meant to do, don't just plan on how you are going to do it, or hold back because there is a chance it might not work. Just dance. If it works out, there you go. Your purpose has been discovered. If it doesn't, you tick something off your list and go to the next one. The point is, you have nothing to lose when exploring your options for what you should do. Stop imagining that you have only one thing you should do. Before, I defined purpose as the central motivating aims of your life. Not a central motivating aim, central motivating aims. The pursuit of just one thing that we should do is probably the reason most of us feel lost. Why is everyone else seemingly good at the one thing they chose? Why don't I have my own one thing? The idea that there is only one thing that we should be doing in our lives is limiting, because most of us are defined by our passions. At any time, we are usually juggling several things at once, from taking care of our families to volunteering for a cause. All these things combined are your purpose, why you are meant to be here. However, that doesn't mean that if you only have one purpose now, that you should feel shortchanged. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.